Hi, yeah, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails, and in this video, we're going to do Christmas because everyone's gone Christmas mad early, which I like, I'm not going to lie. I am a fan of uh, Christmas stuff, and for this one, I've jumped on the gonk bandwagon because everyone seems to be doing gonks, and um, everyone's got gonk decorations. Not me. No, I haven't either. No. I haven't, but everyone else has. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm working on a fit tip, and I've got my buffer, and I'm just going to buff off the shiny top of my fit tip, just to make sure that the eyelash can adhere properly. And then, we're going to get rid of all the dust. <coughs> oh dear. So, I'm going to dust it off. And then I'm going to use my green cleaner just to wipe over and make sure that we've got rid of it all. And then for my base, I'm going to do a pink base. Because why not? So I'm going to use I-186, which is from the Havana collection. And it's a really nice, nice dusky pink. So I'm going to do a coat of this for our base. Well, actually, I'm going to do two colour coats to make sure it's all nice and evenly coated. So this is our first coat. I'm going to pop it into Cure for 60 seconds. So now I'm going to do a second coat of this pink colour. I'm going to pop it into Cure for 60 seconds. Now we've got our base of colour. I'm going to just wipe it with my green cleaner to get rid of the sticky layer. And I'm going to use the Black No Wipe Gel Paint and I'm going to use my Artiste brush. And with this, we're just going to come and paint on his hat. So I roll my brush through the paint to get it nice and coated, but nice and evenly coated. And our hat is going to come quite far down, so I'm going to paint the middle bit of the hat first. And then it's going to curve down at the edge. I'll just keep picking up more paint in between. And it curves downwards don't worry if it's not totally straight because you can come in and neaten it up afterwards and then we're going to come along and paint the top bit of the hat so the hat is going to like flop over to one side so again I'm loading my brush up with my gel paint and it's going to flop over to this side, so I'm going to start down there, curve it over at the top, and then down the edge it's going to kind of bump out because it's kind of constantina down the hat. Has. So I'll take it over the top and then make like a wavy line down the edge, and take it right down to meet the bottom part. Again, you kind of do it so it basically comes off the edge really. And then this side is going to have a top part that's kind of flopped over. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go up from here to make the top bit. And then I'm going to make a little curve in it. And then I'm going to come right out to the edge and again sort of bump it down. So once you're happy with that, which I'm not because I'm fussy, it's got a bit sticking out. Once you're happy with that, I'm popping to cure for 60 seconds. Whilst that's curing, I'm going to get the colour out for the nose and the beard. So my nose I'm going to do with I-42 
And gonks have got like a big fat nose in the middle. And it's like they've got the big fat nose and the hats come over their eyes. So I'm going to decant some 42 onto my silicone pad. And then for the beard, I'm going to use I-54. I wouldn't use the gel paint for this because it's quite a big section, the beard. And you want really a colour that's going to level, so it's a nice sort of flat section of colour. And because the gel paint is like really thick viscosity, it doesn't self-level. So if you use it for big sections of colour like this, you can see like the brush marks and it's a bit sort of wibbly wobbly. So it's definitely better to use eyelac for this bit. So for the nose, I'm going to get my dotting tool. I'm going to use E, which is fairly big, really. I'm just going to pick up the I-42. And I'm going to blob it where I want his nose. And then I'm just going to go side to side with my dotting tool. And it makes that nose shape. I'm going to go down a bit as well to round it at the bottom. And it makes a nose really easily. So I'm going to pop that into Cure. You don't need to put it in for too long. Just flash Cure it so it holds its place. And then for the beard, I'm going to use my Vice Versa brush. So I'm going to pick up quite a bit of the I-54. And I'm just going to basically sort of blob it on so these are really easy to do so for these bits around the hat and around the side of the nose you might want something a bit smaller because you want to get sort of right into the corners so when I get to that bit I'm going to use my artiste brush obviously because it's thinner I'll be able to get in there a bit better. So once you're happy with it, pop it into Cure. And I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. So when that's cured, I'm going to wipe it with some green cleaner because I don't want any sticky left. So because we've not top coated it, when you wipe it, you might find that you get a bit of colour coming off on your white. It's totally, it's fine, it's not taking the colour away, it's just from the sticky layer that's on the left on the top of your colour. So don't worry about it. So I'm going to do his hat in foil. And I was going to do one colour foil, but I think I'm going to do three. <laughs> Why not? It's Christmas. <laughs> You never have too much shiny stuff, can you, at Christmas? So I'm going to use Isla, which is like a holographic rose gold foil. I'm going to use Hannah, which is a light pink holographic. And I'm going to use Sienna, which is a holographic blue. I thought they'd be really nice. Why not? So we don't need loads of this foil. But I always took the ends right in, so I end up having to take it all out. <laughs> I'm gonna end up with foil everywhere. So that's our first one. I'm gonna get the pink one out. You see, Tracy Davis's little method of these foils is really good. Did you ever see that live with her? Mm -hmm. Where she, she she folds them in a way so that the middle the middle so bit she can pull it out. out. The middle. Yeah. But I need to do mine like that. <laughs> It's just not going to happen with me, I'm not no. going to lie. <laughs> no, it wasn't really. it's never going to happen with me either. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. I'll stick to this method, which I'm is foil everywhere. Me too. <laughs> yeah, far too clumsy. So, I've got all my bits of foil. And I'm going to decant onto my silicone pad some foil gel. You don't need loads. And I'm going to use my vice versa brush. So I'm just going to pick up this foil gel and basically colour in the hat with it. And then 
I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So now that it's cured, I'm going to wipe the sticky layer off of my foil gel with some green cleaner because I find that your foil sticks better if you wipe it off. Then I'm going to get my foil and I'm just going to dab it on because I want it sort of in random places. So I want bits of the blue, bits of the pink, bits of the gold. Oh yes. I'm glad now that I put three different foil colours in. That's why though these gongs are quite good to do. They're quite fun because you can just put any like the hearts can be anything. I've seen all sorts of different weird and wonderful creations. So it's nice that you can just do whatever you want. I'm just cleaning up his face where some of the foil um, went over and I'm just going to come along and go onto the line of his hat and just scratch off some foil from there. We are going to come along and need to knock the edges though so don't worry too much. I just wanted to make sure it didn't have too much foil on it. So now we've got most of our design in place. We're just going to add some details and neaten it up a bit. So I'm going to use my Artiste brush again and my black gel paint. I've got some left on my pad but I'm going to get a little bit more because I've not got a lot left. So I'm going to come along and tidy up the outline of his hat. So if your foil's kind of gone a bit over the edges, don't worry, because this is when you're going to come and tidy up your edge. Then I'm going to come in and put a line over the top so it's like the fold at the front of his hat. I don't know what you call that bit. You know what I mean. The folded bit and some. So that will basically just mirror the line that's already there. So it's a curved line going right across the top. And down the edge. And it meets the edge at the side. And then I'm going to, on the edge where the hat's going like that, I'm going to pull in some black lines so it's like it's wrinkled over. Only really little bits. And then we're going to outline his nose. Yeah, it's looking cute. So I'm just sort of roughly going round his beard. This doesn't have to be dead neat. In fact, I want some of the edges to kind of overlap a little bit. Because obviously it's his hair. So it's not going to be sort of perfectly outlined. It looks like a cute gonk. Do I want to put anything else? I don't think I do. So I'm going to pop him into cure for 120 seconds. Oh, I've missed his bobble off. I knew there was something else. I'm going to put a bobble on his hat. I'm going to do it in the black gel paint. You can't have a hat without a bobble on, can you? You can do it with a dotting tool if you want, but I want it a bit more, I don't want it so neat. So it's a bit like, it's like it's a fluffy bubble. I'm going to do it with my brush. And just pull the edges out with the brush so it looks like it's fluffy. 
That's better. Now I'm going to put it in secure for 120 seconds. So now that that is out of the lamp, we're going to top coat it. So I'm going to top coat it with a coat of Rock Plus Top Coat. I'm going to move my silicone pad out of the way. I'm going to turn the lamp off as well because it interferes with the sound. So, when the camera focuses, I'm going to give it a coat of Rock Plus. So now I've got that nicely covered, I'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And that's it, out of the lamp. And I've got to say, I love it with the matte hat. I know it's predictable of me to do some matte, but it does look good. <laughs> so that is our finished Christmas gonk design. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Everything that I've used will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!